Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing a cat girl. That's right, like a cat girl out of an anime. Why am I going to be drawing this today? Why am I going to be drawing a cat girl today? Well, I'll be frank, it's because I want to and because I think doing so in my own particular style of drawing is a funny thing to do. And so as such, that is exactly why I'm making this video today. But what am I going to be drawing with today and what am I going to be drawing in today? Well, today I'm going to be drawing in my Soho Urban Artist Sketchbook, and today I'm going to be drawing with my Pilot Metropolitan ballpoint pen with a Pilot G2 0.7mm insert inside of it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get my sketchbook all opened up to the nearest open page, I do think. And now that I'm on the nearest open page, let's go ahead, just flip it over, put it back down, put it in the center of the camera screen if I possibly can. And now let's go ahead and get the cap all off of my pen. And let's go ahead and get to drawing. Started off, started off, starting off, to say that correctly, with the kind of thing like top of the head, kind of thing like top of the head, like top of the hair, top of the head. Um, I would start off with the ears, but I kind of want to do this a little bit differently than I normally start off drawings like I do. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm just going to kind of go like, like that, just a little bit kind of thing. And there we go. That's the uh, character itself, mostly just kind of sketched out, I want to say. One, so, some constructive criticism for myself right off the bat. Uh, one, the ears don't really look like cat ears, frankly put. I don't really know what they look like, but they kind of look like uh, fox ears or something like that. Doesn't really quite look like cat ears. And number two, uh, this line and this line really don't add up very well. Like the line over here and the line over here, they really do not add up super well. Um, I was kind of going for a sort of like point at the top. That works out pretty well. Uh, the hair I brought way too far down, way too far down. That's definitely something I need to keep in mind. I should have started the hair like right here and brought it down to about this point, but that's like the lowest I should have gone. I went way too low with the hair with this drawing. Um, other than that though, I'm pretty happy with the body I drew. And I'm pretty happy with the back of the hair. And yeah, I'm, I'm overall satisfied with this drawing other than what I just mentioned. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out what else I can do to this drawing or what else I can do to the paper to make it look a little bit more complete. Because right now, it just kind of looks like this character is kind of sitting in a void. I do want to make this uh, character look a little bit more complete, I will admit. But, but I kind of want to do something to the background as well. But I don't really want to do an actual background. So I'm trying to figure out what to do right now. And I'm thinking... I might, just looking around at what pens I have. I have a Sharpie, it's not a big Sharpie though. I'm just trying to think. 
Do I have any, like, pencils? I could try doing, like, pencil all the way around or something like that. I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll just do, like... Ah, I think I'll know what I'll do. I'll just do, like, cross-hatching just completely around the character. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Well, first off, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of clean this uh, drawing up just a little bit, just darken up all the lines, make them look a little bit more thick, or actually literally physically make the lines a little bit thicker. And that's pretty much what I'm going to, what I'm going to do to start off. Still getting a little bit better at drawing, like, hair and, and stuff like that kind of thing. I'm trying to do slightly different styles with, with hair, and, and I want to try to get a little bit better at doing different perspectives with character. I can different perspectives with, char with characters. I can really only do front on right now, and I want to do... I want to do, um, like, side and all, all different kinds of little different designs with characters and stuff. Uh, that's kind of my one of my goals, but practice makes perfect. You know what I'm saying? Practice makes perfect. But you got to keep practicing. There we go, and there we go. Just like that. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking the whole sort of lack of details of the actual face of the character itself. There we go. Let's just go ahead and bring all of that down now. Just like that. There we go. And kind of just make it look like their arms were actually in the sleeves and whatnot as well. There we go. Just like that. And now I'm kind of thinking it's time for me to go ahead and start adding some more detail to the character just a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some cross hatching to the hair as a whole. There we go. I think I might add some more lines to the top layer just to make it a little bit darker and whatnot as a whole. There we go. Just like that. 
just add a couple more. It's just feeling a little bit too light. And there we go. Now that I have done that, I do think it's time for me to go ahead and, uh, oh, you know what I could do actually? I was thinking about doing like kind of cross hatching all the way around, but I could actually kind of do a shadow. I'm really bad at shadows. So this is gonna be like make or break. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have to see how this turns out. I'm not good at shadows. Um, so this is gonna be make or break, whether this works or not. I'm not sure if it's gonna work in all honesty, but I, I do think before I go ahead and actually do the shadow, there's some more stuff I kind of want to do real quick. And I just kind of want to go over all of these lines again and just kind of make them just look a little bit more like there's some more stuff going on and whatnot. And there we go. There we go. Just wanted to add some details to the pants as well. There we go. A little bit more detail to the character itself. I can't complain. Maybe just add a little bit more to that leg. And now if I want to do the shadow, it starts off just with like, kind of like that right there, and then like two lines and it gets a little bit thicker. Oh, do I really want to do a shadow? <laughs> ah, man, it's... Hmm. I'm just going to commit to it. Alrighty. And there we go, there's the shadow. I'm not sure if that really worked out in all honesty. I don't really know if that shadow's any good. But you know, I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it takes away from the drawing, so I'll take it, I'll take it. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think this drawing, <laughs> the character, the cat girl in this drawing does look a little bit depressed, so I guess I've uh, given you all more than you might have bargained for. I not only drew a cat girl in today's video, I drew a depressed cat girl in today's video. I'm like, what can I say, you know what I'm saying? What can I say? Well, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing. I think I'm all done. Do you guys like this drawing? Do you guys not? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my uh, Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace, and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?